Hello Blockineers, today we're going to unbox and build a vending machine from the KiwiCo Eureka Crate. This is a monthly subscription and so far we've built a wooden ukulele and a perpetual calendar. So now we're going to be doing a vending machine. This is for ages 14 and up and if this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Okay, let's build this vending machine. Okay, so here's the vending machine maker's guide. There's uh, one of these in every single box. There's also, ten, oh my goodness. Ten. So like whenever you go to like arcades and stuff, these are the exact same like tubes that you always see. That's really cool. Okay. And then there's some. What is this? I'm not sure. Some Whoa, there's metal. This is a heavy one. There's like metal pieces. Oh yeah. And, and then wooden pieces. there's wooden pieces here. Oh look, there's one of those wheel thingies. And then, oh, what's this? This is also heavy. I'm not sure what this is. And now let's look in the vending machine magazine. It's a maker's guide. Okay, so what's in this booklet? There's step-by-step -step instructions to build a vending machine. And then also in this booklet, you can explore the science, engineering, and history behind the design. So did you know, unlike most vending machines, Japanese gashapon machines are blind purchase. You never know what you're going to get, and that's what makes it fun. There are gashapon dispensers for everything, from Pokemon toys to coffee beans to tiny hats for cats. Some collectors try over and over, hoping to score a rare item. Time to start making. Okay, here's um, all the pieces. So clear our workspace and gather your materials. Okay, so they list everything you get. The build stats. Okay, so key components are the ratchet and paw, coin lever, and paddle wheel. Skills, wood assembly, gear assembly, and economics. The complexity is medium which is just like the other two projects we did. And the time should take one hour. Usually it takes us like double the time, so two hours. Okay, and there's gonna be five parts to this. Okay, and then on the next page, there's more history of design, okay? So in part A, we're going to be making the coin mechanism. In part B, we're going to be building the body. In part C, we're going to be adding the inner workings, whatever that means. And then in part D, we're going to be building the capsule container. Lastly, for part E, we have stocking our machine. That's oh, the fun part. Stop. Fun part. <laughs> oh, that's the fun part. And then at the that's end, there's that, more history. So one thing, before, before we really get started, I'll just point out one thing I really like about um, the Eureka Crate is how, in addition to the hands-on project they have, they also give you some history, science, engineering, that. And now we're going to get to the building. Part A, making the coin mechanism. This is what takes the vending machine's payment. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah. So first we're gonna make the coin mechanism so that we can insert coins. But okay. at the end we get right. to bring All right, back so the step, step one out of <clears throat> seven is going to be, okay. Um, okay, so we have to find two parts. Oh my goodness, there's so many pieces. Is okay, so this is, the, this is the one we're going to be using first. Okay, I'm just gonna put all the rest aside because I'm sure we'll need it again. Whoa, they give a screwdriver. Okay. I don't drop anything. Here, okay. So we got the two, okay, now step two is going to be one pieces. Okay. Whoa. Here. Whoa, this looks like a, what, armadillo. No. Um, looks more like a turtle shell. Okay, so you have to make sure that the shape is in the right spot. And then the back. Try spinning the vending machine wheel without the cord. 
see it gets stuck here. But if I have a toy like that and I start spinning, well then look what happens. It gets and then locked. Yeah, and then the coin oops. And then the coin ends up on the other side and I can take it out. So, so cool. cool. Part B is to build the body. So we have four steps on this one. Step one, oh, we get this thing from part A, which is already built. And then we have the Kiwi Co facing away. So I believe like this. Okay, now there's um, so we have our vending machine all assembled here. Perfect. So so far this has actually been pretty quick. We're going to now get to part C. Yes, part C. Part okay. C is add the inner workings, whatever that means. Part D is to build the capsule container. Well, this is what holds the capsules in our vending machine. Oh yeah, it goes up top and then it drops. Oh, mm -hmm. So this is what our vending machine looks like now. This is the back. This is the bottom side, here. Side, that's not really The two working. sides and front. So we have our vending machine and now what we need to do is fill, fill the capsules. Okay, so. Yes, yeah, so we have a variety of products. Okay, so first we have a stamp pad. I feel like this is worth 25 cents. Wait, does it fit? Uh huh. It does. Oh, there we go. And then, where do we load it? There's a total of 10 products. Hurry, hurry. Whoa, don't drop it. Okay, there. Okay, and then oh, we need the wood thing. Here. We need the wood thing. Okay. So let's add a coin. Um, turn it. Okay, so you need two coins for 50 cents. Okay. And. Alright. Wait, is it back? Nope. There. Oh, a rooftop, a ticket. I don't know what it is. Okay, and that is the KiwiCo vending machine. So. Out of all of them, this is actually my favorite one so far. This is the actual vending machine. I mean, it 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 even has a thing down here to stop people from reaching in to take the money. And then also I like how they give you the actual tubes that you find at like arcades and stuff. So this is a really cool one. Okay, so that is all for the vending machine. This is my favorite one so far. And um, we're gonna have more of these KiwiCo videos coming soon. Yeah. I think the next one's gonna be in uh, electric pencil sharpener. And that is, that's the vending machine. And once again, if this looks good to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. And this is very fun. I actually really like this. So, I'm yeah. having it. Bye bye.